Well, from one set of nerds to a singular one now, <laughs> and this one's from Monday's Mirror, Stephen. Shocking. Uh, yes, a warehouse worker stole £60,000 worth of Pokemon cards from his boss, hid them in his mum's house. The fact that we're talking about this means that someone did find them all. And uh, that's the only Pokemon reference I know. Nice Very good. Done. So this 28-year-old uh, factory worker from Edmonton, it says, who lives with his mum. No. Uh, was found out when his boss got suspicious and put some CCTV rounds from going through boxes, getting out some Pokemon, like, I'll have some of that. Uh, the prosecutor said the defendant, who knew his evolution's pre-released Chaziad Holo hmm. Holo from his Grand Bull V5 Art uh. Ultra Rare, almost worth the money. If he's mm-hmm. learned all this stuff, well done. But why? I mean, no one's answered this question. Why is it worth £60,000? They're just cards. They're just pictures, isn't it? No, no. As someone who actually does collect... I don't collect Pokemon, but I collect these other, like, card games like that. It's just... It incites something within you. Like, I have to own that card. That's the card that's going to put put into my deck that I'm going to be able to play then and destroy that person. I'm a massive, like, geek, so I totally get that. I wouldn't spend £1,000 or whatever, but I have spent a huge amount of money on eBay. I may well have even bought cards from this particular gentleman... This is uh, why society's doomed. Well, people, yeah. people like that are called completists, aren't they? Yes. Where I'm you have to have the, the, the whole set. Yeah, and then because it, it feels like some deep hole within. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on that deep hole, let's move on. <laughs>